Hello Libra, welcome to your February 2021 weekly general love read. This is when I channel whatever messages the universe has, God has for you, and any area of your life that wants to come up that I do focus on love. So please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and leave comments down below. I'd love to interact with you guys. I just moved to Florida, so my setup is a little bit different. I'm not done playing around yet, so just bear with me. All right. What is the highest message we do we have spirit for my Libras? The highest message for my Libras. We have signs. Like okay, it, watching the signs. Make sure you pay attention to any sign the universe universe may be sending to you. Invite help. So if you feel like you're stuck and can't seem to figure out which way to go, ask your guides for help. They do work, I promise you. All you have to do is allow them in. Um, Invite them in and, and ask them for whatever kind of guidance or help you may need. All right, let's get two more of these cards and then we'll get right into tarot. All right. Oops, I, oops, I wanted to fly right out. We have Kindred partnership awesome so there could be somebody around you right now who um you feel really really close to who's a kindred soulmate could be a friend could be a, a relative um does not necessarily have to be a lover but it's definitely somebody you feel like you've known forever so maybe even asking this person for help too or you, um, whatever it is that you need help with but we have peace here so you're definitely setting the intention of wanting um some calmer waters in your life at the moment so something could be going on with you um wanting some change wanting something to happen maybe waiting for a relationship maybe waiting for a job change something but it seems like i'm getting a feeling like um things aren't in balance for you right now at the moment um and you're at a crossroads where you're not sure exactly where which way you want to go Okay, but there is help around you and your spirit guides are giving you signs, um, whether you know it or not, they're trying to give you signs. So pay attention to numerology, um, any, you know, sometimes if you get, um, if you're clear audience, you'll hear a voice in your head that doesn't sound like you. If you're male, you might get a feminine voice, a female male voice. Sometimes it's your spirit trying to talk through you or a spirit trying to talk through you and give you a sign as well. Just pay attention. If you are asking for guidance, your spirit guides will, they will help you. They will assist you. All right, let's look what's going on for you in tarot. Let's see where you're at, Libra. Where are you at right now? What's this obstacle that's coming up for you? What is this obstacle that is coming up for you? Here you are, the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So you're in deep thought about something, huh? Something is clearly on your mind here. Um, and it looks as though it's weighing heavy on you. What is this obstacle, this challenge? The Queen of Swords, look at that. So um, obviously this is a relationship. This is a situation. You guys could already be in a relationship, um, possibly married. Um, or just a long-term relationship and the queen of swords in this deck she doesn't come off to me as being cold and bitchy she comes off as um, being very warm and loving but still really guarding her heart for some reason um, so she's just she's not opening up here she's she's keeping her feelings her true feelings you know close in and she's protecting herself and she's feeling on guard about something okay so there could have been some words, there could have been an argument. There may be a misunderstanding between the two of you. There also um, just could be not sharing exactly how the two of you feel about a situation, not opening up emotionally um, for one another, okay? So what is it that you're focusing on? The two of pentacles, not making a decision here. Somebody's not making a clear decision on which way they wanna go in this relationship. 
it looks as though you have been um, together for a while or maybe on and off again, um, not clearly, like I said, um, explaining to one another or somebody here is not put not given the truth about their feelings and, and not letting the other one know where they want to take this relationship because there's the two of pentacles here is you know somebody needs to make a decision here because right now you're at a standstill a complete standstill here all right what happened in the past the queen of wands in reverse um something that caused some jealousy could possibly be a third party situation um maybe some arrogant, um, some ego issues, arrogance, hot tempered, you know, somebody wasn't showing up for you. Somebody was definitely not showing up for you in the past. They may have been non-committal. I don't want to say there was a third party situation. I mean, I'm going to, cl I can clarify these afterwards, but I feel as though this person just wasn't putting forth the energy into this relationship as much as um, you were, Libra. Feel like they were keeping their options open, and that's what caused um, caused the situation. You're not sure which way to go with the situation. You definitely want resolution here. I feel like the both of you really do have some sort of bond here creative i mean creative um kindred i was going with kindred this could be the kindred partnership this could be your soulmate just in the past they weren't ready to um in a current situation they're not quite ready to um to tie the knot i'm getting to like really seriously commit to this re commit to this relationship i'll see if the kindred spirit comes up afterwards but this could be somebody that you're hanging around with um, just to kind of help you get through this situation while your person is being very lax about making a decision here. The strengths of this relationship, two of swords. You have twos here. Twos are your numbers here. So um, two, 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 when you see that, that's your spirit guides telling you you're in the right direction, okay? The two of swords here as a strength means that you're, I feel like you guys, I feel like the both of you, are very logical and you're analyzing the situation. Um, you both a little bit have your heart shut off here. You're not showing your true feelings, but you definitely can communicate with this person um, as long as you keep it logical, realist, realistic sort of, um, don't talk too much about feelings is what I'm getting. Your person doesn't like to talk about their feelings, but, but you do, I believe. Okay, the temperance car is the near future here. It's um, a union. It's finding balance. It's keeping calm. It's sort of like settling down here. So I can see this situation really settling down. And I'm going to clarify afterwards to see. Um, but you can look forward to that. So this isn't going, I don't feel like this is the end all be all here. I just feel like at the moment, there's a stalemate. And in the near future, it will calm down a little bit. It's not going to stay this heated if it is really heated right now. All right. Suggested approach, seven of swords. Stand up for yourself, definitely. Stand up, stand your ground, okay? Let this person know exactly what it is you want. And what do you need to know? The wheel card. There could be some unexpected turn of event coming, coming around. Um, but I also feel like there's something brewing here. Um, something's going to, something's going to happen here where it's inevitable that you two will end up coming, you know, head on. All right. Cause there's an energy about, this is an unexpected, but it's like, this is, you know, sort of my stringing along card too, but not speaking your truth, letting things slide by. And now it's at the point where there's this huge ball of energy up here and ready to explode. So this is, just be aware of that, that there could be a situation coming up here where you or your person will finally explode and um, speak your mind. And, you know, the spirit saying, stand your ground here as well, too. Don't back down to the situation at all. Your hopes and fears is that this won't end, that this isn't going to end in, in your way, that your person might leave and leave you in the darkness. Um, 
you're afraid to do that, but that's not that that that's no reason to not stand your ground and and speak what's on your mind here, okay? Because the possible outcome is the three of pentacles, which is working together, okay? So you guys will work this out. You will work this out. And I get messages here on the bottom too. So be be um expecting you know some sort of communication or messages from your person wanting to wanting to talk things out because you've been waiting here you've been waiting here for messages and messages will come in from this person you guys will talk but expect something um some conflict here mental conflict here definitely be prepared be prepared okay for some sort of unexpected blowout where do not back down stand your ground show this person how you truly feel um and tell them what you want tell them what you want all right so there will be some arguing there definitely will be some arguing here okay but um the end all be all here is that you will work this out just stand your ground i'm gonna just get a couple clarifiers and some advice here all right Look at that bottom of the deck strength. Have some strength, courage. You know, that Leo energy. You could be connecting with a Leo here too. I get strong air, so I get Sagittarius too. So um Aquarius Libra Gemini. Um Leo Aries Sag is also so a lot of air here, okay? Air and fire. But this is having the courage to stay on, stand up for yourself, and the situation will work itself out. And it will heal from whatever's going on, okay? This is the Queen of Wands here, the Four of Pentacles. So some, you're holding on tightly here to something that happened in the past with the Queen of Wands. So definitely. Um, your person may have been arrogant and needing the attention of other people and not committing to the situation and may have been causing some jealousy for you. The Nine of Cups in reverse as well too. So they weren't showing up for you. They weren't um, making you the one. They weren't choosing you as th their full on one, okay? And you wanted a long-term relationship. You wanted to make this um, permanent between the two of you, okay? And they had no desire. Um, so that is what, what happened in the past here. The two of swords here is, you know, the, the um, strength here is there will be communication, okay? You guys do communicate. You will communicate. Um, you've always been able to talk things out, work things out. You do get along. This is potentially a soulmate, karmic partnership, okay? So you may be hiding your feelings towards one another right now, but there's definitely um, a promise of communication. You will work this out. You will talk it out. In the near future here, You will things will calm down. Look at that nine of swords in reverse, which is you're learning to let go here of the fear of the anxiety or anxiety regarding this situation. So your person will definitely make a decision to let you know how they feel. Like I get the eight of wands again too, clarifying this two of pentacles in reverse. So they'll decide, they will make a decision and you'll receive messages from this person definitely. And then when they do finally... Um, reach out everything will start coming in fast and if this is just like a temporary breakup um, I feel like you guys may have been going back and forth um, for a while now but there may have been some silence no contact or just cold shoulder right now because um, you can't come to this uh, decision here and what to do with this relationship but these messages once they come in once this person opens up the um, the communication lines of communication they're gonna come in pretty fast okay there's no doubt about that um, but stand in your ground and be impatient with this be impatient with this person as well but definitely stand in your ground and not let this person string you along any longer okay we have the king of wands here too when i want to clarify the will the unexpected event and this could be your leo aries sag coming in but taking action um towards this the both of you it's like the both of you will come in this unexpected event is going to be this person coming back with messages and it could be heated it could start up heated but just remain calm stand your ground and um this will you this will work itself out you have the ten of pentacles here um at the top here we're working things out for a solid commitment here a solid um long-term commitment and things will be successful 
And look, I get the Three of Pentacles again here too, working things out. So whatever this is right now, and I get the Wheel of Fortune too. So that's just emphasizing here, this Wheel of Fortune. There definitely is going to be a turn of events here. Something's going to happen unexpectedly, but it'll happen in your favor. There could be some heated arguments. You, you, you have to stand up for yourself. This person will respect you if you stand up for yourself. Definitely stand your ground and do not let this person walk all over you. Be clear about what you want um, when this does happen. And um, you guys will work things out. It's it's, it's tw twice three of pentacles came out. So pay attention to the throne. Look at three of wands again too, waiting. So three, 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 two, two, twos are your numbers, are your spirit numbers. Um, but you've been waiting for this and it's going to work itself out. Okay, guys. So just keep the strength here with the Leo energy, have courage and, do, and, and stand in your power. Okay. Do not let this person, um, slide by easily. Okay. All right, guys, leave comments down below. Uh, let me know if this resonates. If it doesn't check out your moon and your rising, you guys are amazing. I love you. Take care.